Geometry High School Proof Problems Proof problem is not typically in the uh, SAT 1 or 2 because it cannot be multiple choice. They are usually multiple choice. The proof require description of proof. It's a uh, step by step logics. It's not in SAT, but I suggest you go through many, many proof problems, as many as you could. Um, at least 300 proof problem in the high school, and that's the way you polish up your math skill, especially geometry. Okay, so here's uh, only a few of them. This uh, guide you through how the proof process is done. Divide the angle in half at the P, B, and C in the triangle A, B, C. So, here what is said is B and C, or oh, probably this A, yeah? So it's a half. Find out X. And this 45 is given, right? So, A plus B must be 180 minus 45. And both are halved. So, the, say, this is half A, half B, forty five minus two. So X equal oh, one eighty minus right? So you just calculate this. This is given here. Next one. Next, uh, let's see. The same square were overlapping. Rotate the one by 30 degree. And to find out the angle here, x. Well, geometry question, often you have to fill out where to add a, s a line segment and in order to prove and that's become the key. For this example, what you do is you add a line segment here. Okay? So, this and this are parallel and you have a traverse line going. So, the and this is 90 degree. So, what is this angle here? This is a right triangle, 30, so it's a 60. So since it's a parallel, x should be 60, right? Okay. Isosceles triangle ABC has the angle A at the top and 2A at the bottom. Top A and bottom 2A. So this side also 2A. Draw the line from A to D to make CD equals AD, CD equals AD. So this is the same. Find the angle DAB, DAB when A is 25. Well, this question is, is strange. 
The A is known already if it's 2A on the both sides and top is A. Um, this sentence doesn't make sense. Uh, let's correct the question from the answer. The angle at AC is AC. Angle at AC is A. Oh, because we stated this is equal. And angle CAD is also A. CAD is also A. Assuming angle DAB, DAB is x this is x then angle b is 180 minus okay this will be 2a because this is a this is a so you know you have a triangle it's isosceles same angle a and a then this is going to be 2a right okay so 2a minus x uh, b is 180 minus 2a minus x you can also claim from the triangle abc abc angle b is x minus a therefore you have two equation and solved x okay so this 2a it doesn't mean that 2a I think okay top is a that's only things given right and when you draw the line which will be same distance a D and D C that's the way you draw the line question is what is X here so that's the solution so one equation is let's see 180 minus 2 a minus X right is this this angle is also uh, same as a plus x okay so 2x is going to be 180 minus 3a and the a is a is given 25 so 180 minus 3 times 25 over 2 okay got it <laughs> let's go to the next question draw lines within a circle and measure angles the angles are shown in the diagram find the angle x okay so draw a line this is center so this line doesn't go through center and one thing you know is 20 degree and 95 degree what is the X okay so do you remember the theorem the in the circle take a two point If you draw internal angle, this always preserved to be same. That means from A to D, this is X. That means 20 plus X equals 95. Okay? All right. We use a theorem here. Uh, I forgot the name of the theorem, but this is one of a uh, famous theorem. Within a parallelogram, draw the line BE, the same length at the line segment AB. 
A, B, and B, E. So it's going to be isosceles triangle here. Draw a line vertically to the line B, E from the C. So draw the, this line vertically. Find the angle X. What is the X here? Okay, first, let's note. We know this angle. Isosceles, this is 65. So we know this angle. We also know this angle because this is 65. That means we know this angle. And this is the right angle. Then we know x. All right? Just follow that order. Next question. For any triangle, draw square from each side. Okay. A, B, and B, C. Draw a vertical line to each square. This is a vertical line. Okay. Establish the D and G. If the area of the rectangle B, F, G, I, B, F, G, I, or this part, is 12, then what is the area of rectangle D, E, B, H? Okay. So, this is 12. That's the only information we have. So we have to find the relationship between this and that. Right? Okay. Add the line EC and AF. EC. Okay, so here's a line you have to add. So the problem, the difficulty of the problem is you cannot figure out which step you take to prove unless you figure out how to add the additional line. And in the many questions in geometry, that's the key. So it's somewhat like a puzzle. You have to try and error, see if it works. For example, you add these two lines and then you, you can figure out logical step to prove the area of this area. Okay? So the area of a triangle BEC is same as EHB. BEC, this triangle, is same as BIF. B B A F. You know why? Hmm. Because suppose this is A, this is B, then area of this is one over A B, and the area of this is also one over A B. So they are same. The triangle B F E and B A F are congruent because they have the same angle at the B. The same angle at the B. Okay. Here's a tricky. This angle and this angle same. Oh, because this is a common angle here. A, B, C is common. And plus 90 degree gives these two angles. So they are same angle. Okay. And the area is exactly the same. So the length has to be exactly the same. So these are congruent. Therefore the area of rectangle EBHS EBH S not S is E B HD, which is what we are looking for, is the same area 
as BFGI. Hmm, so this it's same is same as twelve. Why is that? If triangle is congruent, then BC and AD is the same. BC and AB have the same angle or no? Uh, since these two triangles are congruent, why the area of this rectangle, this and this, will be same? This is not that obvious. You need a few more logical steps to prove that. Um, yeah, am I missing something? Can you tell? Which one? Okay, I got it. When I say the same area, actually A is this guy, right? And B is this guy. Here, B. Okay, that means this and this height. If you take 1 over 2, it become this area equals this area so area should be equal okay got it a little tricky you can stop the video and think about it okay now the distance between a b in the diagram is six miles this six miles and the angle is 60 degree from both sides the 60 degree What is the distance to the mall from the station? It doesn't say where the station is. Well, assume station is A and B, both are station. So they are same uh, lengths. So if you divide this half, then it's going to be 60 degree, 30 degree, and it's three miles. So distance is going to be 6 miles, hypotenuse length, okay? Next one is the, you have to add up the, you have to calculate, add up each part of the volume, okay? So reduce the amount of drinking wine, merely change the glass from the cylinder type to the cone shape okay this one we covered once in a previous video the cylinder volume and the cone the difference is one third okay it's good to remember this to prepare the birthday party John purchased the helium tank Oh, this one we cover the same question too. When you make a twice as big radius, it's R to R, then 2R cube is a new volume for larger one. So it's a eight times larger. Okay? Earthquake was recorded 35, uh, 35 miles away from the city hall, but 75 miles away from the observatory. Show how we can determine the location. Okay, if you assume the epicenter is on the surface, then you draw the circle 35 and 76 D, and you have to calculate this location okay two possible in order to determine which side you need one more if one more show this then that's the epicenter okay compare the circumference of a large circle and the sum of the circumference of two smaller circle inside well this one the pi r1 plus pi r2 
is the circumference of the small, right? And two together like that. However, the large one is two pi uh, r one plus r two. So it's same circumference, right? Then here's the uh, question: What if you divide this circle into smaller one and keep dividing infinitely? It becomes this length, which is two r one plus r two. And that's kind of the uh, the question you deal with in the calc class. Okay, okay. So you can looking you are looking forward to the calc calc class. Um, within a right triangle, we draw a line from the corner of the hypotenuse perpendicularly. The D B C will be same as angle B D B A D. So this and this angle same. Explain why. Well, um, this is common, right? So this guy is ninety minus. Say this is a a. So this is ninety minus a. So it's the same angle. So prove triangle A, B, D are similar to triangle uh, A, C, B. Can you do that? Well, you have to you have to show the ratio, the A, B over A, C is equal to AD over AB because one angle is common here. Can you prove this? If you can prove that's a similar triangle. Okay, that's extra. When you draw a, a tangent line to the circle, there is only one contact point for the tangent line and draw the line AB to the tangent line Okay, this is a contact point. It's to be perpendicular. The contact point draw another line AC. So if you draw AC, the triangle ABC is a right triangle. Explain why. Okay, when you draw the AC, you draw the same length D then it's the isosceles right so this angle is same and it's a uh, symmetric you can spin it's a symmetric so it's a 90 degree here okay so that's the end of uh, example of uh, what problem in the geometry I hope you enjoyed listening this video and I'll see you next video.